Chicago is a buffet for fantastic golf courses, and today's video highlights some of the best public golf courses that probably don't receive the attention that they deserve. When I think of a hidden gem, I think of a couple things. One, not widely recognized. Two, usually pretty affordable. And three, some type of unique story or just a great golf course. So no particular order, here are my favorite hidden gems in Illinois. We start with a course that's one of the best kept secrets as it was the original home of Chicago Golf, a top 15 golf course in America, Downers Grove Golf Club. In 1892, the legendary golf course architect C.B. McDonald designed the first nine hole course west of the Allegheny Mountains on this site. And when they expanded to 18 holes in 1893, this site became the first 18 hole golf course in the United States. The game of golf in Chicago began to grow so rapidly though that the members decided they needed a bigger course and moved Chicago golf to its current location in Wheaton, Illinois. There have been many changes to the course over the years, but five of the holes, number two, four, seven, eight, and nine, are the same as they were originally designed by C.B. McDonald. Downers Grove Golf Club is always in incredible condition, even with getting a lot of play and is a great value. For these reasons, it makes my hidden gem list and was my home course when I lived back in Chicagoland. Next is what I believe to be the best bang for your buck course in all of Chicagoland, the Highlands of Elgin. The layout of this course is very different than others in the area because it's built on an old stone quarry. In addition to the unique golf course layout, the Highlands of Elgin has some fantastic signature holes with holes number four, five, six, seven, and eight being one of my favorite collection in all of Illinois and a beautiful par four on number 11 that is one of the most intimidating tee shots in all of Chicagoland. Highlands of Elgin is a tough but fair challenge with some of the trickiest greens and are always in fantastic condition. In my opinion though, the best part is the rates are super affordable with peak weekend walking rates below 60 bucks and only $75 with a cart while most other times are below $45. For the quality and challenge of this golf course, the rate is an absolute steal. Whenever I come back to Chicago, this is the course I always try to play. Our next hidden gem is just minutes from O'Hare Airport. Now, for many in Chicagoland, when we think of O'Hare, we think of bad traffic, industrial buildings, and a concrete jungle. Not one of the most scenic public golf courses in all of Illinois, the Preserve at Oak Meadows. What I love the most about this course is the risk reward strategy and having some of the best signature holes in all of Illinois. A couple of my favorites are the fifth hole, which is a long uphill par five with giant trees as a backdrop. The 16th hole, which is a par four with a really intimidating tee shot over wetlands, and then an approach to a green with a very tight landing area. And hole number two, which is just a really beautiful dogleg left par five. This course definitely is worth the price of admission, especially if you can get an afternoon walking around. It's an absolute steal. Hey guys, Karsten here. Before we finish up today's video, please take a second to like and subscribe if you're finding this content valuable. Turns out only 10% of people that watch these videos are actually subscribed to my channel. So by doing so, you'll help me out a ton. All right, let's get back to it. Next up is one of my absolute favorites. It's Prairie View out in Byron, Illinois. This is the truest definition of a hidden gem and is definitely off the beaten path for both city and suburbs dwellers, but it's definitely worth a trip. The whole course is really pretty, but this is especially so on the back nine as you get further away from the clubhouse. Some of my favorites are hole number 12, which is a par five that starts with an elevated tee box to a pretty tight fairway and ends with an approach to an uphill green, not to mention a giant tree in the middle of the fairway. Number 15, which is a beautiful but long uphill par five that dog legs to the right with one of the most picturesque views on the course. The value here is unbelievable, charging only 38 bucks on weekdays and only 50 bucks on the weekends for 18 holes with a cart. Also, be sure to check out the 19th hole Prairie Fire 2 with awesome food and top golf tracer bays. Let me tell you, I love this course and I wish I lived closer. 
Another course that I wish I lived closer to is Sunset Valley in the north suburbs, right next to the renowned Bobolink Country Club. It's a Heathland style course that feels historic and has an awesome country club vibe. This course is fresh off a $7 million renovation and they did an incredible job making sure this course is always in fantastic condition and is super fun to play. There is not a single letdown hole on the entire course and my favorite is the par three number four Though the finishing holes on the front nine of numbers seven, eight, and nine is a fantastic stretch. What they did with the land here is awesome, with all sorts of little mounds and bunkers that add a ton of character to this course. The greens also stick out to me, as they're certainly tricky, but roll very true. Sunset Valley is an absolute gem, take it from me. Next up is Mount Prospect Golf Club, which is probably one of the most unique and fun public golf courses in Chicagoland. Some might even say the entire Midwest. And whether you love it or find it really frustrating, likely comes down to how versed you are in golf course architecture. To nerds like myself, it's a masterclass. It's full of template holes, shout outs to great architects of old, and even legendary courses like St. Andrews. A couple of these include a giant double green on hole number 13 that features a punch bowl template on the back of the green. There are also two holes with a Baritz green, which means there's a valley running through the middle of that green on par four, hole number three, and the par three, hole number 16. Also, hole number seven certainly lives up to its name, the lion's mouth, with brutal bunkers and a tiered green where if you aren't on the right one, a three putt feels like a major victory. Playing this course is an absolute treat. I'm definitely a big fan. Last, but definitely not least, is Blackstone out in Marengo. It's a really fun course that's definitely off the beaten path, but well worth the drive. Just an all around great golf course from start to finish that features beautiful nature and some fantastic greens. Another golf course that feels like a country club with the price of a muni. To wrap up, here are a couple of honorable mentions. First is the ravines at Cog Hill, which is on a beautiful piece of land that gets overshadowed by its sister course, Dubs Dread. For my money, I'd honestly rather walk an afternoon tea time at the ravines than I would to play Dubs Dread. That's just me though. Lastly, the George Dunn course in Oak Forest, definitely one of the top munis in the area that combines a serious challenge with some beautiful nature. The par four 18th is also one of the toughest par fours and finishing holes in the entire area. A couple other courses that I've heard are great, but I haven't had the chance to play yet. The first one is Anbriar, which is close to St. Louis, Kankakee Elks, Heritage Bluffs, which is in Shanahan, and then Shepherd's Crook up in Zion, Illinois. So keep an eye out for a potential part two. So thanks again for watching. Please hit subscribe if you haven't already. It helps me a ton. And also don't forget to share this video with a friend. As always, play well, my fellow hacks.